everyone, it's Karen. Somebody sent me a custom order request through my Etsy shop, but I can't take money for doing this because it's just too simple. You can use a program like Shortcuts A Lot or Inkscape, which is free, but I'm not familiar with Inkscape, but I'll show you how simple this would be to create. I should go and get the image so that you can get an idea of what it is she was looking for. So that was in my Etsy shop. Um, and here's a custom request. And the image that she wants is this right here. So she found that she could do this. She has something, she stretched it out, but the ends are too pointy. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Save that to my Dropbox folder so that I can bring it into shortcuts a lot. I'm going to click Finder and my folder and then drag this over into shortcuts a lot and then I've got the image that I want to recreate. So the part of this is a rectangle. So I'm going to come over here and choose a rounded rectangle. By the way, whenever you've got an arrow on an icon here in a menu like this, click and hold it and you're going to see additional choices. So my rounded rectangle is this one. So I'm going to create an oblong one. So this is probably a little bit wider than she wants. So maybe like this. Then I'm going to take the same tool, hold it down and choose circle. I'm going to hold down my shift key so that I draw a perfect circle. I'm going to take this and attach it to the end over here. That looks okay, except it could be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and drag that a little bit smaller. So I want these two to be aligned to the middle of the top and bottom. So that's this choice over here. And I do not want this aligned to the page. I have to make sure this checkbox is off. I just want them aligned to each other. And that centers that for me. Since that shape is the right size, I'm going to take it, right click and copy, and then paste in place. And I'm going to use this shape handle to drag it over to the other side. And as you can see, it's staying exactly in that horizontal position. And I've got it attached to the other side. Now, this one's looking, whoops, looking like it could be moved in just a little bit. That's looking okay. Now I can click path and union and that will blend those parts together. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to undo that and I'm going to display only outlines. I'm going to show outlines only. And now you see your lines for your shape. I'm going to go back up to the path menu and choose Union. And you see how it's welded those pieces together. The next thing I need to do is create some little tiny holes in there like she had. So I'm going to go back to my view menu and display my shapes again. And I'm going to come here to my circle, hold down Shift and make a small circle. I'm going to drag that little circle over into here. I'm going to select the two. Now it's hard to see because they're the same color. So I'm going to show outlines only. I've selected all of this. And again, I'm going to center it top to bottom so that I'm sure that it is in the center. I'm going to take my little circle. I'm going to press command C to copy and then command V to paste it. I'm going to drag this over to here. Actually, I should have just used this one because I need to move it up as well. So now I'm going to take these two pieces and I'm going to center them. And that's already looking like the shape that we need, except that this could be nudged ever so slightly to the right.
Now if I display the color within there, you won't see that hole in the middle. You know it's there because the line is there and it will cut out, but it looks wrong. So what you need to do is choose the entire piece, right click and merge. That's the same command as creating a compound path in Silhouette Studio. So there we go. The shape has been created and I'm going to send it to Ernestine for free. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel.